This fine mansion in Cheshire was the seat of Lord Combermere. It boasts a splendid library. In 1891, a Miss Civil Corbett took a remarkable picture. Her technique intrigues photographic expert Adam Hart Davis. She exposed it for an hour, long, long exposure, between two and three in the afternoon. And you can see the sun is streaming into the, the room here. It's lovely. And when she came to develop the photograph, she was amazed to find that in this chair on the left, there is a sort of shadowy figure sitting. And she was rather surprised by this, and she consulted her sister. And one of her sisters said, that's Lord Cumpermere. Absolutely positive. She was absolutely certain. There is a slight difficulty, though, because Lord Cumpermere was dead. He'd been run over by a cab in London a few days earlier, and he died from his injuries. And he was, while this picture was being taken, he was actually being buried in the graveyard a few miles away. And so that, of course, made everyone think it's got to be his ghost. It must be his ghost. Sir William Barrett, a pioneer of psychical research, was not convinced. He wrote an article suggesting that a footman had strayed into Miss Corbett's photograph, taking an illicit rest in his master's chair. There are various things that support this. One is that the figure is quite well lit on the side where the light is coming from, so you can see one hand, but is very poorly lit on the other side. You can't see the figure's legs at all. And there's a very neat point here. All across the picture, all the bright lines are doubled. There's a, there's a bright one and then a very slightly less bright one beside it, which suggests that the camera was moved during the exposure. Now, Miss Corbett herself says that she was out of the room, so somebody jogged the camera during the exposure. Could it be this person came in, sat down, moved a little bit, suddenly realised he was on camera, rushed out, kicking the tripod as he went out of the door? It's possible, anyway. To test the theory, Adam has set his modern camera for an exposure of two minutes. His wooden study seat stands in for his lordship's armchair, and as an extra gesture towards authenticity, a footman's coat seems appropriate garb. I'm going to have to sit here for a minute, but I don't want to be completely still. The right hand is still, the left hand must move about a bit. I have to move my legs so they don't register on the picture, and I need to move my head from side to side and up and down so that it'll register as a blur, but still a head-shaped blur. The experiment's result is gradually revealed in the glow of the darkroom. There. It's beginning to appear. It's, it's the blacks that come up first. And the ghost is shadowy, so it'll come up last if it's there at all. I can see the books. I can see the chair. Yeah, there's definitely something there. There's a right hand. Yes, there's a ghost there. Look, look, I'm in it. Terrific, it's worked. So maybe, maybe we've solved the mystery. Here's the Cumbermere photograph, and here's my photograph, and mine's like a sort of section out of this, a sort of small section blown up, if you like. And if you look, over here on the left, there's a chair, and over here on the left of frame, there's a chair. And here there's a shadowy figure. You can see a sort of blurred head, and here there's definitely a shadowy figure, and you can see a blurred head, which does look rather like me, I have to admit. And over in the Cumbermere photograph, there's a rather sharp right hand and arm, and that's exactly the same here, sharp right hand and arm, but there is no left arm or hand, although there's a slightly blurry bit on the hand rest there. And here, there is no left hand, although there's a slightly blurred patch just on the hand rest. So, so far, we're doing quite well. And here we've got no legs at all, the sharp edge of the chair, no sign of legs. And here, sharp edge of the chair, no sign of any legs. This could still be a ghost. I can't disprove that it's a ghost, but it seems to me that I've made a pretty fair representation of it myself, just messing around in my own sitting room. I reckon that there's something like an 80 or 90% chance that this was just somebody who wandered into the picture and wandered out again. <laughs>